So I want to do a relatively quick video about some of the new and older cars that I found. Uh, we were recently on a trip and uh, I didn't want to miss any opportunity to find some cool stuff. So I searched a bunch of vintage toy stores and then um, by luck uh, when we were shopping at a supermarket I just went next door to the Dollar Tree um, just for the heck of it to grab some stuff, not even cars but of course that was in the back of my head uh, and I found a lot of really cool models that I hadn't found before uh, so I just wanted to show and kind of say hey I've been checking these Walmarts um, I had been going to a Walmart every evening but because I really want to find a super treasure hunt car just just to say I found one uh, and after a week of going there every night before close uh, they were opening a bunch of ID car boxes so uh, myself and another gentleman went through them. It was pretty fun. Uh, he wanted the ID cars. I don't I don't really care about those, but there weren't any supers in any of those boxes anyway. Um, but I made a friend and it was cool um, looking through the boxes with them. So anyway, at this Dollar Tree, I found a bunch of cool models. So some of these are actually from before I left at that Walmart. So some of these new models, I think it was an e-box of ID cars. So this new Bronco casting, the new Ford Bronco, that's pretty cool. Uh, that was one from that. Uh, these yellow Preludes, I like those yellow Preludes. I have some blue Preludes too over here. That was actually from the Dollar Tree later. I like the blue one better actually than the yellow one because the yellow one has a black hood on it. And some of the, some of these cool ones, this blue Cyclone. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, I have a red one that is actually a Real Riders. Uh, and that one is this one that I bought. I think these Cyclones are so cool. Uh, this one is actually the Marlboro Cigarette, uh, you know, GM made 10 of these uh, with them. And uh, so, of course, it doesn't have any cigarette logos on it because it's a toy but that's exactly the design on this is the there are 10 of these that were made in real life uh for gm and marlboro to collaborate with those this uh zamek uh corvette i like this casting uh, i got some of those there that night uh, and a couple of the other castings this then and now miata uh, and RX-7. I think those RX-7s are cool, so I'll always grab an F, uh, FD RX-7 uh, for the heck of it. Uh, this Corvette, this new C8 Corvette, that's a new casting, I guess. That's pretty cool. It says new for 2021. Uh, this kind of fun, perpetual childhood Camaro. Uh, it's just goofy. Usually I don't go for those goofy ones, but this one kind of charmed me, so I got it. And then this darker Subaru uh, STI 22B. I like these 22Bs as everyone else does in the world too. Uh, cool. So anyway, that was that. Now, some of the older cars I found when we were out there. Uh, the Chicago Auto Show 2000 uh, C5 Corvette on Real Riders. That's pretty cool. It has a whole thing about the Chicago Auto Show on the back. And notice there's no hole you know, to hang it up. It was never meant to be on a peg. They must have handed these out at the show to people. That's really cool. I had to get that. And then some, some normal cars. A VW Golf. I like this casting. Uh, and Mark II Golf uh, casting. Pretty classic. Uh, Ford XR4 Ti. The European Ford. Uh, pretty accurate casting on there. And it looks like the door's open. I might open this one. Because I like these XR4 Ti's, they're they're goofy. Uh, now, on to the dollar store finds. So this was a real treat. I went in this dollar store, and immediately my hands were full of uh, cars. Actually, there are a couple other cars. This photo finish series, this Mount Rushmore, they made four different um, photo finishes for this year. I think it was New York City Skyline, Mount Rushmore, uh, I can't remember the other ones now. But anyway, I had to grab that. And then this uh, Hot Wheels, again, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Hot Wheels stuff, the stock car. Uh, this Ann and Hope store, I had to look that up. Uh, 
it was a store in the Northeast. And I, I found these in um, Las Vegas, actually, where I got this. So anyway, now in this dollar store, the findings were crazy. Uh, this new uh, Lancia, Lancia Delta Integrale, another rally car, really cool. Uh, new for 2021. Uh, I'm surprised to see uh, one of these uh, just because, you know, I don't know how many people know about Lancia here. Uh, you know, collectors, people like that. This Land Rover Defender with the mud on it. I don't know if I had seen this one before. I might have, uh, but it caught my mood that day, so I bought it. This Jaguar XE. It's a beautiful sparkly dark green, and I had seen this casting before, but the sparkly dark green is just really cool. So I grabbed that. Audi RS5 Coupe, always good. Another S2000, a green S2000, like the yellow one, pretty cool. One of these, uh, 85 Camaro, uh, police version, no light bar, pretty cool, like that. Uh, sometimes I'll get these just because the art on the packaging is kind of cool. So now with the Matchbox. So uh, I had been waiting for new Matchboxes, and there aren't as many Matchboxes that come out as Hot Wheels. So I'm always looking for new ones. Uh, this police car is newer. It's not super new as far as I know. Uh, but good detailing on there. El Segundo Police. I got that in Tucson. This new Jeep Gladiator. Uh, pretty cool. These gladiators are pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. So, doors off. Had to grab that one. Tops off. Like, full beach mode uh, Jeep Gladiator. Another Jeep. This is an older casting, I think, on the CJ. Uh, but really nice detailing on it. CJ7. Uh, another Jeep. Can't really go wrong with it. This Silverado. Lifted Silverado, uh, pretty cool. I like this casting, again. So if I like a casting, it can pretty much have anything on it and I'll get it in the Matchbox stuff. This old 68 Dodge, lifted uh, truck, kind of fun. I really am a sucker for the art on these. So as much as I don't, I don't really care about keeping them in the package, I mean, I like to display them like how I have them on the wall and I have another display. So it's nice for that, but uh, I don't care about it value or anything like that really. I have some of those in protectors just to keep them crisp and, and looking good. Uh, but I like that each car has unique art. Uh, that's just really fun. That You know, they used to not have that. They would have something like this for like a sports car, and they'd have something else, you know, for a different car. Uh, that had like a truck on it or something like that like here's one you know for the utility vehicles it had you know a tractor looking thing on it uh, anyway so this Porsche I'm not super wild about this but it was kind of cool the art again I like the art just fine the little Jeep renegade guy there pretty fun I like the color on it uh, and then this Mattel, this armored truck. Uh, I thought this was peculiar. It almost looked like a promo item because usually for Matchbox on stuff like this, they would have like a fake brand. Like on this, it says Sunny Solar uh, for like solar panel installers. This says Mattel uh, Federal Credit Union. So, you know, if there actually is a Mattel Credit Union for the employees or whatever, this would be a really fun thing to give out as like a promo or something like that. Uh, but as far as having it in the store, I'm surprised they didn't make up like a fake business for it. And it's also funny, I know Mattel's owned Matchbox for years and years, but still funny to me to see that on there. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's just a little overview of some of the cars, some fun stuff. And if you guys are finding anything similar, uh, shout out and uh, let me know. And uh, until next time, thanks.